Yo, yo, what's up? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email from a subscriber. And this one says, is it cool to let a woman know what they are doing um, is not right? For instance, if they are rude on a date or if you try to get to the point by texting slash calling a woman just to meet up or go out on a date and she is ignoring your request and just wants attention by sending you pics and or changing the subject. Um, or coming up with excuses. I want to be more vocal about uh, women just wanting attention, being flaky, or just rude. I want to call women out on their games. Does this make me look insecure if I let them know? Uh, should I just charge women and keep it, keep quiet? I like to speak up for myself. Please uh, let me know. Thanks. All right. So um, there's a few things that you should do, and it depends, you know, on the specific things that are going on. Uh, when you're dealing with the girl now if you're trying to set up dates with a chick and she's sort of being wishy-washy you know you're like hey you know when are you free let's get together and she's just like talking about other shit and she's sending you pictures and she's not really you know responding to what you're asking her right you don't need to call her out on it right all you need to do is just fall back and let her know to holler at you when she's ready to make something happen. So, for example, if you're telling a girl, hey, you know, uh, let's get together Friday. And she's like talking about some other shit. She's like, oh, so such and such and such. And then she's sending you pictures and she's doing all this other extra stuff. You'd be like, listen, you know, I got to go. But um, holler back at me, um, you know, when you know you're free so we can get together and then just leave it at that. You understand what I'm saying? So you don't need to call her out and say, why are you sending me pictures when I'm asking you these questions? And why can't you answer my question and this and this and that? You don't want to get into that type of, uh, you know, back and forth with a chick. You understand what I'm saying? It's just you're stating what you're trying to do and she's supposed to respond. Now, if she's not responding and she's just being on some attention horse shit, just be like, all right, listen, um, look, I got to go. Hit me up when you know you're free. Right. And that's it. Now, at this point. Um, you know, what you can do is let's say if a few days go by and she doesn't hit you up, you can either charge it to the game, which is what I would basically do at that point. But if you do want to still like holler at her, see what could go down, right? You text her again, maybe, you know, uh, three or four days later, if she hasn't hit you back and try to set that date up again, right? Now, if she's doing all that attention horn stuff again, you do the same thing. You'd be like, listen, look, I got to go just holler at me when you uh, when you freeze so we get together, right? And then so now at that point, since you already did it twice, you stop hollering at her, right? And then you wait for her to get back to you. Now, if she doesn't get back to you, you, you just keep that shit moving. If she does get back to you, right, you set up that date. You understand? And... That's basically, you know, what you do now. She's still on that, you know, uh, bullshit about, you know, trying to be on some attention horror nonsense. You just keep that shit moving. You understand? So everything that you're doing needs to be about you setting up that date. And if she's not trying to set that date up, then you keep that shit moving. Now, what if she, you know, keeps calling you? What if she keeps hitting you up? Now, if she keeps hitting you up, right? After that time, you, you know, she hits you up and you try to set up that date. You know, if she keeps hitting you up and she keeps being on that attention horse shit, right? What you do is you can either ignore her or when she hits you up, you just, you know, say, hey, what's up? Blah, blah, blah. Just regular shit. Don't talk about no date. And then you just get off the phone or you stop texting her. So she'll hit you up. She's like, hey, what's going on? How you doing? And you're like, oh, yeah, I'm cool. And she'd be like, oh, so what are you up to? And you'd be like, well, listen, um, I'm pretty busy right now. So, you know, um, I'll holler at you later or something. You understand? Like you just brush her off real quick. Right. So the thing is, is that at first you're just telling her, hey, get back to me, um, you know, and let me know. Right. Then if she's still playing those games. Right. You stop hollering at her. And then if she hollers back at you after you stop hollering at her, you set the date. If she's still playing games at that point, you understand, you just uh, basically ignore her. And if she keeps hitting you up, you don't mention anything about a date and you just keep kicking her off the phone. Now, the, the the thing about, you know, kicking her off the phone and not mentioning the date is that if she actually at this point wants to actually go out with you and see you, she's going to bring up the date and she's going to bring up, hey, you know, we should get together and then you can make that happen. You understand? But the thing is, is that, you know, this is why I like to cut the shit off when she's first being on some attention horse shit, because 
I don't like to go through this bullshit. This is, this is what I call extra credit. You understand? This is other, you know, extra shit you're doing that is uh, you trying to get the girl, right? Now, the only thing you call out when you're dealing with a chick is when she's doing something that she needs to be checked on. So let's say if you're on a date and she's being rude or she's says something out of pocket, you understand, right? You could basically check her on that. Or let's say if she, you know, she uh, like just does something very disrespectful, you can check her on it and be like, listen, you see that thing you did right there? That wasn't cool. I don't appreciate that. You know, I don't, I don't want you to do that anymore. You understand? And so you can check her on that because you don't want to let the bs that she's doing slide right and this is you know especially if you're trying to actually continue to see this girl now let's say you're on a date and she does some disrespectful type of shit but you say to yourself in your mind this chick is fucking crazy i ain't i'm never seeing this chick again you understand so at that point you don't even necessarily need to check her because you've already decided in your brain that you're not gonna go see this woman anymore you understand what i'm saying because she's fucking nuts so, you know, at that point, you don't really need to, uh, you know, check her if you don't want to. Right. But overall, when you talk about calling chicks out, a lot of times, you know, you know, if they're on some like attention whore type of shit, you don't need to really call them out on that. If they are doing some disrespectful shit, the only time you really need to call them out is if they're, you know, if this is a chick you actually are trying to make something happen with. If you're not, you could just keep it moving and never fucking call her again and just you know, keep doing your thing with other women. You feel me? So that's pretty much it. Um, listen, guys, if you have any questions, make sure you click the link below and uh, holler at me and I'll holler at you guys later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step by step step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com.